Welcome back to Pandas Mobile. Yesterday, in the last video, we looked at the Hillside Gallery, which I thought was the best value little camper here at the NEC in October 2018. However, what happens if you've got a little bit more money to spend and you want a proper sized camper van, if you like, transit sized or VWT6 size? Well, they are out there and they range from anything from £35,000 well, in excess of £60,000. However, I'm going to look at four budget ones today, which I've picked out over the last couple of days, which I think are good value. Now, I will hasten to say there are a lot more out there at around the £40,000 price this year, but these are the four that I've looked at and I think are well worth showing to you on video. So let's start with the cheapest of the bunch, and we're back to our old friends at Hillside here with the Birchover S Pop Top Short Wheelbase. It is actually a Volkswagen T6, oh yes, and it is the cheapest of the bunch. But you do lose a little bit. To get it down to this price, you do have to have the 84 brake horsepower model. Now, some of you may see that as a disadvantage, and everybody wants power, power, power these days. But I have to be honest and say that I expect that the 84 brake horsepower will be at least perfectly adequate in everyday use. Let's have a little closer look at Hillside's Birch Over S. But one thing you don't have to give up is Hillside's fabulous build quality. If we glance inside this red version, you will see that there's everything there was in the Dalbury. And the quality of the build, I'm sure you can see, is absolutely fabulous. You get industry standard rock and roll folding seats. You get a rotating passenger seat. And you get everything you might expect in a vehicle of this quality from a company like Hillside. It's always a bit difficult showing you these vehicles from the rear because they're all much of a muchness. But if we glance upwards, we can see the fabulous lifting roof that Hillside provide with their vehicles. The quality is all there, I'm sure we'll agree. And if we look at the price on the window, this one is 37105 that's because it's come with the air conditioning upgrade and a cruise control upgrade. If you can make do without cruise control, uh, 335, 135 I beg your pardon, then you get that price down below £37,000. So with the Birch over S, can you live with short wheelbase? Can you live with the 84 brake horsepower? Can you live without air conditioning? Can you live without cruise control? Well, even if you add those two last things, you still come in before below £40,000. And I think that's fabulous value from Hillside Leisure. So there you go, a very quick look at Hillside's Birch over S. Um, and I'm sure you'll agree, for 35995 you're going to get quite a lot of money. And even if you do go for a couple of the upgrades, that's going to bring this vehicle in well under £40,000. And that makes it extremely competitive. But of course, there's another way of doing it. And Devon Conversions have found another way of doing it. And that is by using the Transit Van as the base vehicle. This is Devon Conversions Firefly comes in at well under £40,000. The vehicle that we're looking at here is priced at 38332 and it's on the Ford Transit. The Ford Transit does provide a much cheaper base vehicle than the VW T6 does, but you don't lose anything in the quality. We know how many Ford Transits there are on the road. Let's take a closer look at the Devon Firefly. So Devon, as we know, are a company from, from a long, long time ago. The name is anyway, and the company's presently been alive for 28 years based in County Durham I believe. The layout slightly different but the upholstery is absolutely fabulous. It's bright and breezy and a lot different to the one we looked at recently at Birchover. And there's nothing wrong with Hillside's Birchover interior at all. That was very good quality as well. But this is very light. More what you'd expect to find perhaps in a motorhome. As you see it's two single beds uh, with a very bright and breezy upholstery. Let's look in from the back and see what they offer. What I particularly like about the Farfly in Devon is the fact that they've gone for these very light colours. I suppose you could describe this colour as beach, but the unit's incredibly well made. They really are. And up above, as we can see, we've got more than an industry standard cooker and sink there. And of course it comes with its own crockery as well. And the nice touch is the lights that hang down as well. And as we pan around, we can see up the top there, we've got a, a very big zig unit, a nice fridge, and we've got lots of cupboards and storage space, and of course the smoke alarm and the CO2 alarm on the back. As we glance further in, we can look up and we can see the really nice lifting roof 
as we come to expect but again a really nice lifting roof on the Devon Firefly. Disappointed in the silver colour? Well there's no need to be. Here we have the Devon Firefly in a spectacular orange colour. This is a high roof model as well and it comes in at £40,007 but it does look rather resplendent in its orange colour. A completely different vehicle I'm sure you'll agree to the Birchover but it's on a transit and you can't fault the transit heritage. So then it's worth coming to look at Devon, Devon Conversions Limited and come and see what vehicles they have to offer around the £40,000 mark because I believe they really are hitting the mark at £40,000 or less. So we've moved across to something a little bit different here. This is a company called Auto House. We're looking again at a Volkswagen T6, this time a resplendent white. And the model we're looking at is the Auto House Ashton. As you can see, price is from £37,000. Now this one, granted, does come in at 41995 but that's because it's got lots of silly trim bits on it. And that's not too much to worry about, because what we're going to see, we're going to see pretty much what, what a £37,000 van would look like. If you look up at the roof, you'll see a logo you might recognise, and that's a Remo logo. It's fitted with a Remo lifting roof, which means you can't go wrong with the quality there. We'll glance in the back and we can see the beautiful white units that they've used with the water filler there and the LPG cabinet and some storage space and of course the industry standard rock and roll beds. So popular is this auto house fan that there's a lot of people want to look inside so I can't spend too much time but I will briefly show you the wonderful tartan material that they've got on display. The very nice layout with the Vitra, uh, the Varinger, I beg your pardon, fridge. The nice oven in this one, you don't get that in the cheaper model but that doesn't matter. You've got your 12 volt sockets, you've got your 240 volt sockets and you've got your Zig unit style control. You've also got industry standard rock and roll seats with some storage underneath. There's not much more you really want in a van of this price. So there we are, Auto House with their Spartan and there, and I've forgotten the name of this one, the Ashton. Well worth coming to see if you're coming to the show today. Want it in a different colour? No problem. There it is, resplendent in orange, or gold would you call it, the Spartan GT colour? I'm not sure. Again, this vehicle from 39999. And again, Auto House have thought outside the box. Look, we're looking at the Ford again. Why other people aren't using the Ford so much, I don't know. It does bring the base vehicle cost down so much, it means they can bring the price to the public down. And I do like the stance at which the Spartan GT sits. It looks mean and it looks moody and it's still yours for less than £40,000. So there we are to give you an opportunity to play with your pause button. Auto House Factory, www.autohouse.co.uk So here's a name you may not have heard of before. gnpcampervan.uk.com But I'm particularly keen to film this vehicle because for £39,995 They've packed an extraordinary amount of stuff into it. Let's have a look at their vans. What I found particularly interesting on this model of van is the amount of stuff you actually get with it. Elevating roof bed with LED lighting and rope ladder. Pretty standard rock and roll bed. But look, you get a 110 amp leisure battery and more importantly, you get 80 watt solar panel. You get virtually everything you need to go apart from the heater in this fan for 39995 I think that's extraordinarily good value. And the other thing that makes a difference to most of the other vans we looked at today is it's based on the Fiat Ducato. And being a Fiat man through and through, I'm very excited by that. The Fiat Ducato is an excellent base vehicle. More you see on motorhomes than you do on camper vans, but it's a very useful base vehicle for camper vans as well. As we glance in, you can see a very, very neat interior on these vans, including lovely lightweight units. You've got the Zig unit, you've got an oven, you've got lots of storage, you've got the fridge. And under those boxes on the floor is a rope ladder stored that goes up to the roof bed that's supplied with the vehicle as well. And as we pan round, of course, we can see the rock and roll bed. You can see the microwave, you can see the timbre doors, and you can see all the storage that's available on this vehicle. And of course, okay. twin swivelling captain seats. As you see by the gentlemen stand up in there, there's plenty of headroom as well and there's lots and lots of storage in the rear as well, including the standard LPG container. 
You can see how much interest these vehicles are generating. It's very difficult for me to film inside at the moment, but we'll carry on as we are. Down on the right, you'll see a shower head. Behind that shower head is actually a motorhome style toilet. And there's also a sink with hot and cold running water, I believe. And here, as we move forwards, you'll see the lavatory in place just behind. And of course, you've got the industry standard sink and cooker just there. And also inside the doors, there are tables on both sides. I think it's quite incredible value for money, I really do. I tried to film this vehicle this morning and I had trouble with the audio and I've been trying to stand here now for 20 minutes to get a picture of the interior and it's proven virtually impossible because there are people all over these vehicles and I think that really is just to, due to the build quality and the value for money we're seeing inside these two Catos. I don't want to interrupt anybody viewing this vehicle but I'm just going to dive in and show you the fridge, show you the Tambador storage, show you the cupboards, show you the novel folding out bed and show you the twin captain seats. There really is nothing more, I don't think, better value for money at 39995 or 38, I believe this one is, at the motorhome today. So before you spend 40 grand on a camper van, I can only recommend you pick up your laptop or your iPad or your phone and go to gmpcampervan.uk.com, this bespoke camper van conversions, and just have a look at the two wonderful Ducato conversions that they're doing. You won't buy them better value at 40,000. So, what did we learn at the NEC? Well, first of all, we learned that they sell fabulous hats, I'm sure you'll agree. But more importantly, I think we learned that a lot of manufacturers are now trying to compete in the £40,000 price barrier or below. There are budget proper sized camper vans out there at last below £40,000. And I don't remember seeing that. I remember a lot of them saying from £37,000 or £38,000, but I never actually saw any. I and mean, I was actually able to see some at the NEC and that was really, really good, really pleasing for me. Um, I'd like to thank GMP, I'd like to thank Hillside, I'd like to thank Devon and of course Auto House for letting me um, film their vans and putting them all together in the short video which I hope you enjoyed. Now as I said there are other £40,000 camper vans out there that might take your um, fancy more than the ones I showed you and that, that's, that's a fair comment because there are now as I say a fair few out there to be viewed and I think that's really really good really important for the consumer. Well I hope you've enjoyed this second video anyway um, and this hat is specifically for Pauline on the small motorhome forum who's had none of them much have seen me before so um, they were quite disappointed when they saw the video and saw that Panda which is me didn't have a black nose and black ears so just to prove that pandas do have black noses and black ears this is for you Pauline. Thanks very much indeed for watching Pandas Mobile this time. Um, do subscribe if you like the sort of videos I'm going to produce. Um, you've seen some of the things. We're going to do also some DIY on my camper van, Hetty, the C15 Hilo. Um, filling a solar panel, for instance, is one of the things we've got coming up. Um, so hopefully, if this is the sort of stuff you're interested, please do subscribe. Bear with me while I try and improve my video work. I think you'll agree the audio improved this time. Um, and that was due to me being a bit clever with my shotgun mic, um, but it did work quite well. Um, we're also getting some of the transitions better, and I'm also realising the limits of iMovie, funnily enough. So if anybody's got any recommendations for a better video editor than iMovie, I would be willing to spend some money. Thanks very much indeed for your time. Please do subscribe. We'll see where we go with this. Cheers.